Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, uh, well, we have new numbers coming out of Steam, which is a gaming platform for a lot of people on PCs. And we're actually going to add a few more um, of these uh, stats, um, including, uh, so we have the Windows market share among Steam users, but also the... Um, the hardware, basically, which is the most common. So first of all, Windows 10, of course, still dominating at 65.4%, but it's down about 0.2%. Windows 11 has gained half a percent. It's now at 28.4% on Steam users. So, um, you know, gamers are moving on to Windows 11, and uh, that is kind of interesting. There's, of course, Windows 7 64 bits. Though that is a number three, but it's only 1.6%. And rounding out, Windows 8 and Windows 7 uh, 32 bits at 04 and 0.1%. Now, what is interesting is the type of hardware that people have. So when you, of course, wonder what type of hardware people have, what is interesting to see is the type of of processor and the uh, the type of uh, you know graphics hardware and so on so if we look at what is the most used in the hardware uh, not much of a difference but uh, first of all we got to say that uh, Windows uh, is really the gaming platform by excellence it is retaining amongst amongst uh, Steam users uh, ninety-six point one percent of the gaming market that tells you that people that want to game are gaming on Windows, uh, pretty much. The uh, second place is uh, Apple with two point five percent, and Linux is at one point four percent. Interesting, Linux has been going down in gaming in the past couple of months, so it's not really gaining any momentum for gamers in any way. So, processors, the most popular processors are Intel, 67.8%. And so, uh, that is interesting to see that Intel dominates. And it's not surprising, Intel has been pretty much always dominating in Windows. And AMD is uh, at 32.2%. So, um, that's uh, kind of interesting. AMD has been losing ground a little bit, so uh, maybe Intel's, uh, you know, uh, doing a better way at marketing PCs with games. The um, average physical cores on Intel is six cores, AMD four cores. The memory, what, how much memory are people using in general? It is um, on Intel platforms, most are using 16 gigabytes. On average, the 8 gigabytes is the standard for a lot of uh, AMD users, apparently. So this is kind of interesting. So 16 gigabytes, 51.8%. 8 gigabytes at 21.3%. And uh, 32 gigabytes at 13.9%. We have graphics cards, N NVIDIA, the really the winner here. NVIDIA is 75.7% of the market for gaming. AMD at 15.1% and Intel at 9%. Intel is rather crappy most of the time. And a lot of the, um, a lot of the AMD graphics cards aren't very, very good, honestly. The... Most popular graphics model right now is the GTX 1650 for Intel uh, computers, the NVIDIA GTX 1060 for AMD, and um, one of the, uh, the the third place goes to uh, the RTX 2060 by NVIDIA. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of graphics cards, and so uh, most of the graphics cards aren't getting you know a huge market share, so. Uh, 6% for the GTX 1650, 55 GTX 1060, and 45 for the RTX 2060. Uh, there's such a high number of graphics adapters out there that it's difficult to really dominate with one specific model. Uh, the graphics memory cards, on average, 8 gigabytes on the um, Intel platform. That the RAM dedicated to the graphics card. 
6 gigabytes on AMD machines on average, and 4 gigabytes seem to be um, one of the uh, still popular uh, third place. So 8 gigabytes, 27% of uh, graphics adapters have 8 gigabytes, 20% 6, and 4 gigabytes are at 15%. So it's kind of interesting statistics here to see um, the hardware. And of course, this is really Steam users. So uh, this has to do really with the um, the users that are on um, gaming platforms for the most part. So as you see here, I've got a 1660 here on my machine and it's uh, six gigabytes. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of in an average there probably uh, with my 1660 and uh, six gigabytes of RAM uh, dedicated really for a GPU. And of course, I'm on an AMD machine, so I'm in the uh, minority on the CPU side here. But uh, kind of interesting stats here. So Windows 11, once again, still gaining momentum for users that are on um, Steam with uh, half a percent more than last month. So it's uh, getting close to uh, the 30% mark, basically. Uh, Windows 11 at 28.5%. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.